Derpy Hooves. She is an odd character, isn't she? But did you know the backstory of her character is deeper than you think? Today, let's go back in time to 2010 and look at the history and controversy of one of the fandom's most beloved characters. On October 10th, 2010, the episode Friendship is Magic, part one of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic was aired. In the background of the episode, a peculiar cross-eyed pony could be seen amongst the crowd. Particularly keen-eyed viewers took notice of this great pegasus, and soon, the fans who noticed this oddity dubbed the character Derpy Hooves. The word derpy or derp comes from the movie Basketball starring Matt Stone and Trey Parker, the creators of South Park. Derp. South Park would then go on to use the word derp in one of their episodes later on, thus popularizing the word. Derp. Derp. Oh, wasn't that silly, kid? <laughs> Definition-wise, this word is defined by Google as used as a substitute for speech regarded as meaningless or stupid, or to comment on a foolish or stupid action. And this word that describes clumsiness just seemed like a perfect fit for this specific pony. So, with the character being noticed by fans, Lauren Faust, the creator of the show, had acknowledged Derpy on the site DeviantArt. She wrote a text post giving insight into the creation of the character. Ha, huh, I lurk around a bit and I noticed the Derpy phenomenon. As far as I know, her wall-eyed moment was an accident, or perhaps a layout artist entertaining him or herself. Who knows? Background ponies have no name, and their butt symbols are picked at random, so she can be Derpy if everyone likes. A later episode references a less than intelligent local Pegasus named Ditsy Doo, so maybe she can be her if we ever need to show her, but I would not want to step on everyone's Derpy love. After this one significant event, Derpy went on to be a background pony with nothing too special for the most part, though one year and two months later, on January 21st, 2012, the 14th episode of the second season, The Last Roundup, aired. In a brief moment, Rainbow Dash calls Derpy by her name. Huh? Now, careful, Derpy! I want to do any more damage than you've already done. I just don't know what went wrong! While all was looking up, there were some people who took issue with this character. The website Derpy Hooves News, which uh, is a website that apparently exists, uh, published an article the same day the episode The Last Roundup aired, titled Derpy Hooves, Mentally Handicapped or Just Clumsy? And there was a poll. The poll had 531 people say that they just think that she's clumsy, while the other 69 said that they think that she's mentally disabled. However, Hasbro had other ideas. They re-released the episode The Last Roundup, removing Rainbow Dash saying the word derpy, while also making derpy sound less dumb and also making her eyes look normal. Now careful! I don't want to do any more damage than you've already done. I just don't know what went wrong. Less than a week later, a post was made on Equestria Daily regarding the controversies of Derpy. The post urged users to sign a petition on Change.org to keep Derpy the way she was and to buy a Derpy t-shirt from the shop We Love Fine, the first company to make Derpy merch. However, on that same day, Hasbro pressured We Love Fine to either recall or rename their Derpy-themed merchandise, leading the shop to comply and change the name of all Derpy-related products to Ditsy. This was also extended to other appearances as well, such as Derpy's Funko Pop, the Gameloft mobile game, the collectible card game, and other miscellaneous merchandise. The Change.org petition in question read, Derp is not a slur against mentally disabled people. Derp is a word expressing messing something up, regardless of mental ability. There's absolutely nothing offensive about it, especially when Derpy was created by an error or a derp. Her character evolved entirely around that, making her a very ditzy pony, but not disabled. Derpy's editing was excessive and portrays a very negative message of you have to be perfect or you're not allowed to be seen. A message, I might add, that feels completely against what the show normally teaches. This petition closed after receiving the backing of 43,965 supporters. You could tell at this point that people were really not happy with Derpy's change, with people even making stuff like this. No matter what, you're always my best fans. And I love all of you. And I'm really glad that you're all here to support me. And, and... I mean, if my name's not okay... If my eyes aren't okay... I... I'm sorry. But just know, no matter what, I'll always be there in the background, waiting for you to see me. And... I just... Thank you, every pony. Thank you. Later, a post was made on Equestria Daily concerning an email response from the writer of the episode, Amy Keating Rogers, which read, Whew, this controversy has been overwhelming and exhausting. I actually had no idea fans were really upset about the derby change until your email. The scene I wrote was originally longer and had a flashback explaining exactly what Ditsy Do had done to damage Town Hall. I was asked to change Ditsy's name to Derpy as a tip of the hat to the fans. I got about 10 emails saying how offended folks were, people labeled me an ableist, a word I'd never heard of, and said that I was being insensitive to the disabled by calling this character Derpy. I then did a search on what Derpy meant, and the first things that came up were embarrassing and awkward, which is what I thought. But then I did more in-depth searches and discovered that one definition is reported. Now, you have to realize the reading that made my heart sink. My son Soren of Soren fame 
team is severely disabled, we do not use the word retarded in our house because it really has become an offensive slur. It was painfully ironic and goes against the fact that I'm an advocate for the disabled. I also want to note here that while I got 10 negative emails, I got about 200 positive ones. I knew that the majority of fans were not offended. I got emails from fans with siblings with disabilities and parents of kids with disabilities and fans who had disabilities themselves and none of them were offended. But I was not the only one getting contacted regarding Derby's portrayal. Positive and negative feedback was also being sent to Hasbro at The Hub. Someone at The Hub who knows about my personal connection with disabilities contacted me asking my opinion. We talked about various options of what to do. 1. Do nothing. 2. Cut Rainbow saying Derpy but keep Derpy's voice. 3. Cut Rainbow saying Derpy and change Derpy's voice. 4. Find a creative way to change Derpy's name in a future episode. It was a no-win situation, fans were getting offended no matter what, and while I was not personally offended by the scene, I tried to put myself in the shoes of someone that was. When that call ended, no decision was made, and it was not my decision to make. I'm just a freelance writer here, not a network executive. That decision was up to Hasbro at the hub. In the end, Derpy's voice was revoiced to be more ditzy. And while again, I had nothing to do with the casting, this is closer to the voice that was in my head. And as for cutting her name, if it truly can be defined as recorded, then I am personally glad that name is gone. I wouldn't want my writing to perpetuate children or target audience to call other children derpy with that meaning behind it. So I know fans are upset, but please don't be upset at Hasbro or The Hub or DHX Media or the anti-derpy fans or me. Let's remember what the message of MLP FIM is. Tolerance, kindness, understanding, and most importantly, friendship. All my best, Amy. Later that year, an article was published on Daily Mail titled My Little Pony Fans Blast Producers as Much-Loved Characters Altered to Seem Less Mentally Disabled. This article mistakenly refers to bronies as brownies and had this to say about the word derp. This is said to stem from the sound some people make to each other at schools making fun of those with Down Syndrome and other disabilities, while being ignorant of where the term actually originated from which was from a movie, remember? Should they have done further research and looked at the poll that I mentioned earlier, they would have realized that almost 90% of people who saw Derpy declared her to be clumsy rather than being a stereotype of a mentally disabled child. Though, still, this negative press surely made Hasbro not want to risk any more controversy, because remember, all of this controversy that I mentioned was just the result of that one episode. I think that now, I have given proper context behind the censoring of Derpy's character. However, despite all these setbacks from Hasbro and the media at large, fans of Derpy remained persistent with their appreciation for Derpy and continued to make fan content and buy Derpy merchandise. Some notable examples of fan works include how Derpy was shipped with another side character, Dr. Hooves, by fans, and this was pretty much recognized in the actual show in the season 5 episode Slice of Life. But all in all, uh, this entire debacle just seems like it was a case of misunderstanding on all sides. While in the perspective of bronies, it was mesmerizing and cool to see one of their ideas come to fruition in like an actual My Little Pony episode, but still, in the end, Hasbro does have all and any rights to change any of their properties. And if you think about it, if any controversy were to rise up and impact the family-friendly business model that Hasbro has, it would most likely be within their best interest to address it in some form. Personally, if I was in charge of Hasbro, I probably would not have done anything since the intention of Derpy existing was never to mock anyone, and the fact that they quote-unquote fixed Derpy implies that they did think that Derpy was a caricature of a mentally disabled person. I, which, I, I think it's a bit more offensive if you go out of your way to fix it, since if they just kept it as it is, they could have just said that she's just a clumsy character, but no, instead they drew more attention to it by quote-unquote fixing her. Though, obviously as the show went on, the show embraced Derpy's original goofiness more and more. And I'm all out of arrows! Let me know what you think of this entire case down in the comments. Do you think that this was necessary? Do you think it was unnecessary? Do you think that Derpy is mentally disabled or do you think she's just a clumsy character? Let me know. And see you guys next time.